falls smooth. Smooth. Tropica, nothing smoother. In the warm Caribbean Sea, north of the coast of Venezuela, lies an island that is rich in both natural beauty and cultural history. Here, six celebrities and six smooth fans will pair up to compete for fame and fortune and the smoothest treasure of all, a shared one million rand. Welcome to Tropica Island of Treasure, Curacao. Back home in Joburg, celebrity contestants meet at the airport to board a KLM flight to Curacao. It may be a long way to go, but they can relax and enjoy business class luxury. Representing Team Mango Peach, TV presenter Sipesi Levazi is ready for the adventure of a lifetime. I'm going to show off my aggressive side. Um, I'm, not, I'm not an aggressive person naturally. Um, it takes time for me to get there, but I'm definitely going to be pushing that forward in terms of winning this competition. There's a lot of stick. For Team Tropical, it's Isidingo actress Simpiwe Ngema. You are going to see a crazy personality and that's one thing that people don't know about me. <laughs> I'm actually a bit crazy, good crazy, <laughs> not bad crazy. And I'm actually very fun to be around. Musician and actor Boer Bosch is in for Team Orange. The side of my personality that I'll share on the island is the fun one, the quirky one, the one with the dad bod and the one that just want to hug everyone and make everyone feel good while I win. <laughs> Heading up Team Pineapple, media personality Dando Duma. The side of me you're going to see on an island is absolutely the one I always bring out at home when I discipline my daughter. You know, I'm very strict. I also become very emotional, so you probably see a lot of tears when things you know, are going sideways. Actor Casey Bia takes the lead for Team Peach. I am extremely competitive. Those who have played 30 seconds with me, you know. So I'm going to bring that team morale, the team spirit, and make sure that my partner is always hydrated with water, Tropica, and more Tropica, and more Tropica. Social media personality Nadia Jafta is Team Cool Red. The Nadia that you're going to see on the island is definitely a more competitive one. I don't usually show that side of me at all on social media. I'm more for like peace and love and you know, for everybody. But I think when there's money involved, <laughs> definitely more competitive. After a smooth landing on the island, celeb contestants make their way to Santa Barbara Beach and Golf Resort, situated on the south coast of Curacao. This 800 hectare slice of paradise is where the contestants will live this smooth life. Luxury accommodation, private beaches and an award-winning golf course. just arrived at Curacao and this place is beautiful. I'm hashtag blessed that I'm not in Johannesburg, in traffic, like my friends, going to work. I mean, this is like yeah. the most beautiful place I've ever seen in the world. Urban Resort is gorgeous, man. This is like being in paradise, literally. It's not about being on a tropical bottle anymore. Um, I'm here to compete. Walking into my room, there's a card in the bed that says, Hi, Bauer, welcome to Curacao. I'm thinking, I'm massive in Curacao. People know my music, people know my Afrikaans movies. I might relocate here. Yes! So I just got to my room in Curacao, and it looks beautiful. I love my room. I have an amazing view. It's cool, air conditioned. The bed is amazing. The pillows are. We are here. From thousands of smooth fans who entered their audition videos, these six South Africans are the smoothest of all, earning a once-in-a-lifetime shot at fame and fortune. Obviously, I want to win, but besides that, I also just want to um, make a name out of myself, man. I feel like there's so much more to this person, Sipo Set, and I just want to establish that via Tropica. So shout out to the good people at Tropica. I feel like it's going to really challenge my body, my mind, and my emotional side. I can be very emotional and yeah, I'm gonna kill this. You know, nothing's gonna stop me, nothing's gonna derail me. I'm gonna win this. Tropical Island of Treasure is exactly what I'm about. The challenge, the camaraderie, the competition. Um, 
And obviously the outdoors, the tropics, being on an island, I mean, that is my passion, that is what I love. I want to show people that I'm not just a fun-loving pretty face, but I've also got muscle and I've got grit, and I have a little bit of a competitive streak. So that really, you know, pushes me a little bit over the edge when people are, you know, you can't do that, Caldine. I'm like, watch me, I'll prove you wrong. What's going to set me apart from the rest of my other contestants is that I've got the energy, I've got the looks, I've got the, you know, the charismatics and everything, and I've got the energy that all of them put together. So that was definitely going to be setting me apart from the rest. I entered because I think, why not? What do I have to lose? So it's just the experience and meeting new people. So I'm super blessed being here. Woo! Just touched down. We're in this beautiful island. This hotel looks amazing. Welcome to Tropical Cocktails. And the vibe is set. The mood is set. We are so excited. Wow, this is the place. I'm actually on an island. As the contestants settle into their new home, who stands out for you? And who looks like they have what it takes to win a shared one million rand? Let us know with hashtag Tropica. You too can find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy a Tropica, follow the entry details on pack and stand a chance to win your share of 1 million rand in prizes. Like a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam, LG G8 phones, LG TVs and dishwashers, guest vouchers and guest watches and accessories. Plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica. Nothing smoother. Smooth fame and fortune, nothing smoother. The Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao challenges start now as contestants make their way to the beach and catch a first glimpse of their potential partners. This moment is surreal. The games are about to begin. It's happening. Tropica Island of Treasure season 9 is happening right now. These consumer fans, they look hectic, eh? Like, I don't know where Tropica found them, but they look like they are here, like, for business. Boom! We're right down the beach. Myself and the rest of the consumer contestants looking like a bunch of Power Rangers. And there he is, Cat. Bon bini, guys, and welcome to Tropica Island of Treasure, Curacao. <laughs> we are finally here. And I've got to say, as you were walking in, you were all sizing each other up, checking each other out. So I've got to ask, first impressions of each other. How's it coming off? Caldine? Look, they're all looking great. I'm noticing a few really buff guys, really fit girls, but I think I can, you know, mesh with any one of them. It's exciting. But how about you? How excited are you to be here? And what do you make of our smooth fans here? I'm, I'm very excited. I'm a bit stressed, to be honest. Not because of them, but for myself. <laughs> no, I'm only human, guys. <laughs> but I'm super excited. It's a strong group. Whoever's with me, I'm in it to win it. Just so you know, OK? Uh -huh. Nadia, what about you? I mean, are we the celebs or are they the celebs? They, like, walked in here, like, you know? <laughs> Vazi, your first impressions? It's going to be fun. People look fit, and I hope that they're ready for the challenges because I'm definitely ready, I'm not here to play. I'm definitely walking away with this one. Sorry, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Trevor, you're looking quietly confident there. I it's like, it looks like Easter with the hot cross bun. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about the celebs, Trevor? They all look, they look impressive. It's, it's going to be interesting. Darren, are you equally impressed? Yeah, hey. Um, I just hope I get the one that I want. Uh, He's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's looking at Nadia. <laughs> Choices are pretty tough, but uh, I just hope I, I do well on, the, on these challenges and uh, hopefully they, they see what I got. Over the next few weeks, you'll be competing in various challenges to avoid elimination and, of course, for that ultimate grand prize of a shared one million rand. Yeah! That's got to get you excited. Come on, let's get it! <laughs> So far, you've all taken a very long journey from back home in South Africa to be here in Curacao and you've travelled in your separate classes, if you will, as smooth fans and celebs. But right now, we're going to even out the playing fields because you're about to take part in your very first challenge. Let's go. Oh, this game looks really <laughs> tricky and challenging, but... I'm, I'm up for it. The real thing is here, we are ready to push and do all the right things and win the money. 
So this is what it looks like, your very first challenge in this season of Tropica Island of Treasure. It works like this, you'll be competing in two teams. One team of smooth fans and one team of celebrities. Yes! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We actually spoke about this. We've got Mr. Obstacle Course on our team. So this is going to be a walk in the park. First game, celebs versus consumer contestants. I never expected it. I really have faith in the celebrity team. So we can win this with a good chance. How it works is like this. On my command, each team will start in their designated spots, shackled to another member of the team, two by two. The entire team needs to make their way under the crawl net, collecting the keys that are strung up in the crawl net. Now, each team member must collect a key, so you can't have one person taking all the keys for the entire team. You will then assemble at our first checkpoint. Only once the entire team is there are you then allowed to proceed to stage two of the challenge, which is our rope maze. Still shackled to each other, the entire team must make their way through the rope maze and collect the puzzle bags that are hung within the rope maze. You'll make your way through to the next checking point, at which point only once the entire team is in the checkpoint can you use the keys that you found to unshackle yourselves. Once everyone is free, the entire team enters then perhaps the most physically demanding part of this particular challenge. You each will need to scale up that wall over to the other side and take your puzzle pieces with you. Teamwork here is of the utmost importance. Now, once the entire team and your bags of puzzle pieces are over the wall, you'll need to assemble at the last checkpoint, at which time you need to select two members of your team that you trust very, very much in assembling puzzles. They will hold the fate of this competition in their hands for you because they will need to complete the puzzle. The team that finishes first, either smooth fans or celebrities, will have the choice of choosing their partners from the opposing team for this season of Tropica Island of Treasure. So think very carefully who it is that you're going to choose to complete the puzzle when you get to the end, but get to the end first because this is a very tricky course. All smooth? All right, so you understand how it works? Let's take up our positions. Let's play. Go! Done. Okay, who's good with puzzles? Let's, 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 let's first do this. Who's good with puzzles? Who's good with puzzles? Who's good with puzzles? I'm bad. We never thought we would actually be a team together. Now, the first challenge is become one team. We never thought about that. It's instantly challenging. Who's the leader? Who makes the decisions? I, I'll, I'll do one. I'll do one. All right, let's do it. Nadia says she can do the puzzle. Um, I'm not sure if she can, but you know what? I have to trust her. Okay, if it's two, two, then yeah, the first two go, for instance, left, the uh -huh. next two go there, yeah. the next two go there. Yeah. Yeah. The guys are looking to me for a game plan because this is what I do, obstacles, and this is an obstacle in front of us. And so I take control. So same, same height, same height. Same height, same height. I think is going to work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, I know exactly what this is and I know what to do and I'm like grabbing everyone. I was like, I know what, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. So me and right, Nukel. Right, Prepare it according to height to make it easier to move through the obstacle course. We're pairing up like this? Yeah, let's just pair up our one. We were already standing, you know, in our order. So we just like, cool, we're going to go with you. The, the guy that was standing behind each goal. So that's how we kind of decided who was going to be paid with who. <laughs> smooth fame and fortune, nothing smooth. It looks like there's stage one, stage two, stage three. I don't know if I'm physically ready for it. All right, guys, this is the very first challenge. You're playing for the power to choose your teammate in this season of Tropica Island of Treasure. Here we go. Let's, go. Let's play in sync in three, two, one, go! <laughs> Falling under the net. It's just so abnormal. What is going on? Oh, we've got the smooth fans who are out first. Darren? It's frantic. We're all trying to make our way through the space that is so limited and, and confined. Sims and Bowen attacking the sand. Ozzy and Nadia hanging out at the back. Bob's feet is literally on my face. 
at this time. I don't know what to do. I cannot move forward. I'm thinking I'm losing momentum. Caldine and I are off. I'm really quick, she's not. So I keep telling myself, calm down, calm down. Let her catch up, let her catch up. We've got Sims and Bowen out. I am leading. That is amazing. Caldine and Sia out. But remember, you've got to wait for the entire team to be there. <laughs> Second two of the Smooth Fans is out. Janjuska and I are the last ones to actually be on the platform. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, no, now we're behind. Move on to the next. Remember, each one of you must collect a bag of the puzzle pieces. Our first two contestants, they go in the rope maze and they start with the bags in front. And then the next two go right behind them. And then now we've got this blockage right here at the entrance of the rope maze. Ah, oh, man. All right, this is where the confusion kicks in now. The puzzle pieces. Okay, you ready? As we start moving through this thing, it starts hooking on my legs and he's pulling in one direction. I'm trying to unhook this bag in a, on a different direction. And we're just grabbing puzzles, left, right, center. Ah, 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 ah. It's a dash at this point. <laughs> Go over, open the way. Boer is in front of me again. I'm blocking Fuzzy that's behind me. And I decide to go straight for the last one. I'm going to go for the next one. Someone take that go, one. Go, 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 go. Keep a hold of your keys. Sims and Boer are out in front. Let's go for the pink one. Say two and Trevor seem to be making their way through the maze quite easily. This is like the most trickiest thing ever. I don't know whether to go to the other side or go inside or grab which bag. It, it is just so confusing. It's just all over the place. Fuzzy and Nadia struggling ever so slightly. Boer has untangled it, but untangled it halfway. So now I have to untangle the rope from the carabiner. It's not as easy as unhinging it as everybody else. Thanks, Boer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just trying to calm him down. I'm trying to tell him, you know, we have enough time. I'm looking over to the next team and they're bolting forward, but I'm not going to tell him that. It's just going to make him panic more. So I was like, no, it's fine. We have enough time. <laughs> We're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're getting entangled and, and stuck everywhere. Smooth fans will be out of the rope maze first. Remember, once you get into your block, unshackle yourselves when the whole team is there. Last little struggle there. Celebrities seem to be struggling right now. This is where teamwork is so important. Sand is stuck in each of the locks and we're trying to get the keys in, but the keys just aren't working. Here's the key. I'm stuck. So I just pull and I rip the piece of the blue off and we're through. Now figure out which key is yours. No, no he's got it. I've got a key, Trevor's got a key, everyone's got a key. We're just trying to figure out which lock opens what and now, you know, the keys are just getting lost in rotation. Help me. I believe in miracles and it's happening right next to me. The first key that Sapiwe puts in, it unlocks her lock. Uh, how great is that? Okay. A lot of conversation going on around. I wonder how well coordinated it might be. I'm really struggling with this key and this lock. It just won't go in. There's sand blocking there. I'm trying to blow the sand out of this lock. It just won't go. I'm trying different keys and it's just really starting to frustrate me. See ya. I'm unlocked. Caldine is unlocked. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Know. Only once the entire team is unshackled. You've got to wait until the entire team is unshackled. I don't know how my team did it. With the locks, I just saw my, 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 my shackles coming off. Like, whoosh. Thank you, Jesus. That was like a liberation. It's like, boom, everybody was unshackled. The celebrity team is all loose and they are about to figure out how to scale the wall. I look up, I see the celebs have hit the wall. I'm still frustrated with this key. It's just, it's getting to me now. Karen, me and you swap. I think it's, yeah, you guys swap, you swap. Karen, swap. Get the key. It's literally here. You just need to calm down. Stop panicking. We've got this. My plan is to boost everyone to get them to the top. Use my hands, spring you up. Use my shoulder to push the buttocks up all the way to the top. Celebrity team has decided that Buzzy is going to hit the top of the triangle on top of Kay's shoulders. This guy saw the rope that no one else saw. He throws the rope back and he becomes a climb section. Come on, push him. Come on, push him. Push him. Push him. Push him. I think that's what us up. Leave. Let's just do this. Trevor gets unlocked and we go. Still struggling with the locks and they're all free. All right. Do not forget your puzzle pieces, guys. Go over. On the shoulder. You're free. You got this. 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 You
I can't lift my leg. It was so heavy. Nice, since you got it. Mr. Buick, you got it. You got it. Guys, and now the smooth fans hit the wall with Setu at the top. And I'm like, oh, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. Setu goes, I'm like, okay, cool. So he looks at me, he's like, down, go. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, so I climb out, I think I hit Setu's face, maybe, I don't know. They seem to want to be all going to the top. We've got Darren at the top. Sims and Vazi at the top, pretty cheap. This entire wall reminded me of when I was a little baby and I was chased by a dog. So I could see myself literally doing that and I was like, I am definitely overcoming this. Ntando, third to go for the celebrities up the wall. <laughs> She's struggling a bit, I'm not gonna lie. So I, you know, I'm trying to help her get up them. I love her so much, but <laughs> she was struggling. <laughs> Help her, guys, help her. Keep yourself close. Keep yourself close to the wall. Come on. Okay, keep yourself close with to the three wall. Three at the top to right. eat with Yaneska, Darren, and Setu at the top. Nadia now making her way. Kaldine making her way. Guys are climbing all over me to get up this thing. It is intense, but there's no holding back here. It's make or break. It's get up this wall or we lose. I don't care. Stand all over me. Get up this damn thing. Trev is like, get on me. That's what I do. I don't waste time, go up like a pro. Yes, go! Yes. Yes. The celebrity team deciding to allow the rope to go over on the other side. Now, wanting to climb up. We need the rope though. Janeske is coordinating the effort on this side. I'm pulling up people, I'm helping Simpiwa out. We are winning this. The first of the celebrities, Sims is down. Nadia and Sims are now. Over on the side. Hold on for Trevor. You need the rope. We're all at the top of the wall, and all I can think is, how's Trevor getting over? Trevor's like, guys, I'm just jumping. I, I, I've got no other choice. I, I'm going to let the team down if I don't just run and just take an absolute flying leap. Quick! Yeah, yeah rope on yeah. the other side. That is incredible strength there from Trevor. Unbelievable. See ya. My biggest fear is water and height. So I'm really scared, I'm shaky, but I know I have my teeth. They've got my back, I've got theirs too. So, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Wait, slowly, slowly, slowly. Wait, slowly, slowly, slowly. We need to go down and see her is just, guys, I'm doing this. My first initial reaction is to jump. I've been climbing trees all my life, but instead I use the rope. She gets all three of her fingers are cut, rope burn is serious, but at this stage of the game, we're just trying to get to building that puzzle. So for now, the pain is just null and void. No, 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 I must oh. get down, help you. All right. Sure. Trevor choosing to help the rest of the team. Be careful, guys. They've got three on the side. This is still neck and neck, anybody's game. Janeska now down, four down for the smooth fans. Five down for the smooth fans. Six down for the smooth fans. The smooth fans are all down. The celebrities now making their way. The entire team is over. Make your way. Select your two people. Who will be your two people to complete the puzzle? Let's go. Let's go. Kaldine and Trevor holding the fate of the smooth fans while Kay and Nadia hold the fate of the celebrity team. It's now neck and neck. Who will complete this puzzle first? I had initiated that I'm going to do the puzzle because I know I'm good at puzzles, but because this lady said, no, I will do it better. I said, go ahead, make us lose. Go, go, go. Start with the outer one, guys. Okay, yeah. can yeah. start with the outer one? Yeah. Yeah. Breathe, you're like, you're so amazing. Yes, just breathe. I can hear screaming all around me, but all I'm doing is trying to get all these puzzle pieces out, and I'm trying to find the corners, but everything looks like a corner. The puzzle pieces have deliberately been cut into awkward shapes so as to not make it easy for anyone to complete this. Guys, think of the name, exactly think of the shape of the island, think of the name. All the pieces are completely like cut in different shapes, sizes, so we just have to try and coordinate the letters and the, the colours and the shapes. Okay, we've got yeah, yeah. Trisha. Yeah. Hold done. Yes. yes. Name, okay. 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 Yes, cool. Trevor and Kaldine working very hard, seemingly very coordinated. Kay lining up the shapes alongside Nadia. Things seems to be coming together. 
there could be a bit of a game of cat and mouse here. Who's chasing? Who's in the lead? You can't really tell. And Nick right about now. Okay. Who is? It doesn't look like Aldini, it doesn't look right. But we're trying to distract them there. Think about the picture. Think about the picture. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. A big yes from Caldine as she smacks down on the table. There's Kay's favorite animal making its appearance in the puzzle. We got the center, now we're trying to put it in the top, and then it doesn't fit. Now you have to move it out or shift it to the side. So this is what we're doing. This is neck and neck right about now. I'm jumping around excited. I was like, guys, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> we got some team spirit going here with the smooth fans. So it's anyone's game still. They're taking so long and there's absolutely nothing I can do. I know I would be doing a better job if I was the one doing it. But yeah, here they are trying to scroll around, put things together, and it's not even working. Things are coming together very nicely. Come on, are there any pieces missing? There seems to be a piece missing. Here we have it! Smooth fans win the very first challenge of Tropical Island of Treasure, Curacao, completing the puzzle and winning with it the right to choose their partners. We win. Absolutely incredible. This competition is off to a flying start. This is the best feeling. The guys with the muscles are carrying us, picking us up. We are ecstatic. One, two, three, go! It's all good. You are. You are. You are. You are. I'm devastated. We're literally leading, and I, I don't know how we lost. I'm not that much of a sore loser, like I can still smile at the end of it because I think it's important to keep that morale. And especially if they're the ones choosing us now, so I can't be moody. I need to be happy and show like, cool, like we lost, but I'm still smiling, so choose me. All right, back to your teams, back to your teams. Okay, all right guys, unlucky. So Lev, that, that was one of the closest finishes I've ever seen in any challenge we've ever had on Tropical Island of Treasure, but congratulations, smooth fans. And now we need to determine who of you will choose first when it comes to picking your team. And of course, that means that another challenge is right around the corner. But before we get to that, I'm going to give you guys a chance to get to know each other, speed dating style. All right? Go okay. Ahead. Okay. Let's break the strength. Let's break the strength. I'm going to, I'm going to break that. All right. Smooth fame and fortune, nothing smooth. Speed dating, I mean, what a concept. 60 seconds to get to know someone is not a lot of time. It's not enough. If you are me, then it is enough time. <laughs> First impressions count. You really know whether you like the person or not. This is supposed to be my show. Why am I being interviewed? I got the power. Ow! Ow! <laughs> you found some cat. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't expect that quick sip. <laughs> huh? Hey. hey. I've got the power now. I'm feeling all high and mighty. Ready for the first celeb. Hit me up. I know that earlier on you were looking at me when you said you hope you get the power. Oh, uh, she you caught want. me. So I'm just, isn't me just telling you that I accept? Nadia Jafta, how do you feel being a loser? Wow. Okay. Is okay. that really to approach your future teammate? Look, I'm going to be straight up with you. I want to be paid with you. Okay. Nadia. She's making her point quite clear, I must say. After the season, we can bring out a calendar. You can be every second month, I'll be there every other month. It's business after this. That's man. true, eh? Just in Speedos or, you know, something I'm thinking something sexy. I'm thinking long game. I'm <laughs> thinking what happens after this island. <laughs> yeah. My middle name is actually special. Power Special Bosch. I'm Power Endurance Bosch. Power Patience Bosch. He's hilarious, but I don't think he can take my team all the way. I'm looking for someone who's in it to win it. I'm, this is me. You are the girl. You are looking for me. <laughs> I'm right here next to you. <laughs> all right. From one to five. One is you can doggy paddle, and five is Olympic swimmer. Where would you place yourself? Oh my goodness. None of them. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a problem. You need to get rid of this. Ah, the yellow one. 
Okay, pineapple, right. team pineapple. It is what it is. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Your partner's here, darling. <laughs> I have arrived. So, how far are you willing to go in order to be on my team? Uh, if it's the winning team, to the end of the world. Of course it's the winning team, duh. He's prepared to do anything to be on my team, so he even bowed before his queen. Oh, gracious, sweet and kind queen. Do not underestimate Sia. Top three qualities, go. Always the hardest working in the room, man. Uh, disciplined, and yeah. I would say like, I'm, I'm resilient and tenacious, that's it. I might raise my voice, but it's not out of malice. It's, a, it's, 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 a, it's because I want to bring out the best in, in, in my partner. Let's go, get up, you can do it. If you can say like your strongest point and your weakest point, what would that be? Strongest point, definitely I am strong physically. I'm probably the strongest girl here. So Piwe was very much down, low in energy, so I was a bit uneasy on that one. He's short, and I don't think he'd be able to carry me. I might just be stronger than some other guys too. Drop a name. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. And I'm fearless. That's I'm good, not girl. I'm not scared of trying any time. That's good. Hello. Yay. Hey. 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 I don't have to really say much. Yeah. I think you can see. I'm sold. <laughs> I mean, as soon as I, I was done talking to her, like, I, I couldn't stop smiling. <laughs> I don't like anyone else here. Uh, I, I, and, and I feel like I can vibe with you in terms of strategy. We can yeah. do really dope things. My strategy at this point is to get Setu not to like me so that he doesn't pick me. I think you are probably the most competitive person on the island right now. That you is think I am? Yes. Okay, Besides me. Hey, that's what I wanted to you know. hear. Leranya! Ow! On fire. See, I'm strong. <laughs> you need someone strong in your team. I don't need someone weak. No way. Five five. I don't want this. Five by five, Bowen! You look pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Shake you your body. Nice. <laughs> I definitely like don't. your car. I don't smell nice after that challenge. Okay, this is my pitch. Let's go. go. But there's money under your pillow. That's all I'm saying. Uh, okay, okay. Hush, hush. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, okay. Thank I you, think you, you, you and I would really pair up very nicely. So, fingers crossed this next challenge goes well and, and we can it. pick it. All yeah. the best for the next challenge. Thank you. Rooting for you. You got it. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> yay, yay! Team Beach! It's such a beautiful island. The sun is going down. It looks so beautiful and scenic. And we out here doing boot camp exercises. After getting to know their potential teammates, the Smooth fans must now fight for their right to pick first. All right, Smooth fans. This might be your most important challenge yet because winning this will allow you to have first choice as to whom you partner with for the remainder of the competition. And here's how it works. The challenge begins with you on the jetty. On my mark, you'll get into the water and quickly swim to shore. Once you get to shore, you'll find one of these designated colored blocks. Completely random, completely fair on everyone. Yours is to dig into that box and reveal a boy that is latched onto a ring and onto that, a key. That is all attached to a rope that has been weaved through this trussing maze. Now you need to get it through that trussing maze as quickly as possible. And once your key is free, use your key to open up the treasure box. Inside the treasure box, you'll find a Tropica you pull it out, place it on the plinth. That indicates that you have completed the challenge. The order in which you complete the challenge indicates the order in which you will get to choose your partner for Tropica Island of Treasure, Curacao. All smooth? Yeah. Woo! Let's get to it. The guys are watching you. I don't want to say we lost on purpose, but it was nice not doing a second challenge. This is it, the defining point of who we're going to choose. How is this going to go down? Smooth fans, this is to determine the order in which you will pick your teammates. Are you ready? Yeah! Three, two, one, let's go! All right, so you guys get to see who's got the swimming chops over here. I am struggling with the swimming. I look around me and every single other contestant is in front of me. And we see Trevor just like trailblazing. Like Speedy Gonzalez. Trevor's first out. Darren's second out. He beat me. Followed by Yaneska. 
then Sia, then Setu. Kaldine last out of the water. I can hear Kat saying, Kaldine is dead last. This is so terrible. I can just feel myself losing this challenge. Trevor, like a speed train, through it. I can't believe he ducked so quickly. Now, the challenge, of course, of weaving that boy along with the key through this trussing maze. So we get this little boy with the key attached on it, and we're going through the ropes, and I get stuck. And I'm like, why is this not going through? Oh, Kaldine catching up so beautifully. Trevor is out first. He will unlock. Kaldine has caught up a mile. Unbelievable. Looks like Trevor will be first to finish. He opens up, places the Tropical on the plinth. He's first to finish. I feel absolutely ecstatic. I know our first pick of my celeb, and so I'm just over the moon with excitement. Kaldine, unbelievable speed through the maze. Janeska is caught behind. Setu is still trying to catch up. Sia, who was out so fast out of the water, Kaldine finishes second. Unbelievable. Oh, Kaldine just came out of nowhere, and she came second. Are you nuts? Kaldine! Kaldine, like, that is amazing. From basically being dead last in the ocean to finish second in this challenge is surreal. Setu about to unlock his treasure chest while Darren releases his key. Janeska has her key. Sia hanging behind. Setu, third to finish. Darren, fourth with Janeska, fifth. <sighs> Top three, baby. Top three. I'm still above bottom two, so in my mind, I'm still in this game. I'm not happy finishing fifth. I wanted to be first, man. And that, of course, leaves Sia at the end. You gotta finish it up, you gotta finish up. Find a way, find a way through it. I'm really struggling with this double weave. My boy is just not getting through, and I am frustrated. This is part of the challenge. You gotta work through the frustration. There we go. I'm beyond frustrated at this moment, and it feels like the dream is slipping out of my fingers. Give us some motivation, guys. Come on. Keep going, keep going. There we go, and she finally makes it through. Just got to unlock it. There we go. Come on, you can do it. Treasure chest is open. Pull out the Tropica on the plinth. There we go. Finally. <laughs> I don't have a choice anymore. I don't have a say. What I get given, I must be happy with. So there you have it, guys. We know the order in which you finished. Trevor first, Kaldine second, Setu third, Darren fourth, Janeska fifth, and Sia sixth. That is the order in which you will pick your teammates. OK, guys, I'm going to give you guys a chance to freshen up, and I'll see you later at the team selection. Awesome, thank you. I get first pick, but is it the right pick? All of the celebrities' pictures are running through my mind. And all I can think is, this is a huge decision. Oh, man, nervous. I'm so nervous right now. I don't know. I don't know who to pick. The two picks have to be Trevor, Speedy Gonzalez, and Keldine, never say die. I have a feeling that Trevor and Keldine are not going to pick me. So I'm still stressed about the fact that I might be still picked by people that I don't want to be paired up with. Which flavor will you choose? Find your smooth fortune with Tropica. Buy at Tropica, follow the entry details on pack and stand a chance to win your share of 1 million rand in prizes. Like a trip for two with KLM to Amsterdam, LG G8 phones, LG TVs and dishwashers, guest vouchers and guest watches and accessories. Plus the smooth grand prize of a Suzuki Ignis. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win. Tropica, nothing smoother. Smooth fame and fortune, nothing smoother. Hey. <laughs> Woo! All right. Winners walk. <laughs> wow, okay, so that's how we're starting this. Winners walk in here, right. feeling like it. Full throttle. Uh, listen, uh, I think you guys have done exceptionally well. You've shown that you are here to win that what? one million rand. There's a certain swag and buzz and energy about you, which I'm sure all of you can recognize, right? I'm kind of stressed because I'm thinking, 
who's going to pick me? I don't know who's going to pick me. Literally between me and half a million rand is a decision that lies from someone else. I'm going to give you guys as celebrities one last Hail Mary throw. Give these guys a reason why they should choose you. Dando, I'm going to start off with you. Why should they choose you? I'm a winner of Tropical Island of Treasure season nine, so come on now, come on. I really hope that people said to go for me, because honestly, when we saw each other, we clicked and we connected, and I really think that he's like the best partner for me. Okay, what about you? Why should they choose you? Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. I'm looking someone with resilience, tenacity, who can dig deep within themselves and, and pull us both out and carry us and, and, and vice versa, you know, heart. You cannot buy heart. Nadia, why should you be the one chosen? I'm here for the long haul. It's easy to be optimistic and energetic in the beginning, but we'll see how it is in a few weeks' time. All right. Bode, you're, you're taking very deep breaths and <laughs> nodding nervously, <laughs> man. <laughs> Give us your final pitch. Why should they choose you? Make us laugh. Oh, I need the money. I just need the money, thank you. <laughs> All right, OK, Sims, uh, I, need, I need you to do a little bit better than that, OK? I'm very passionate about everything I do, and I do everything with my heart. Vazi, how about you? I've, I've got the skills to take this home, and uh, I just need a partner to help me do it. All right, guys, so I'm hoping that that helped in your final decision-making process right now that you're going through. But before I call you to make that decision, let's quickly reflect on the order as determined by our final individual challenge of today. Trevor, you're going to go up first, followed by Kaldeen, then Setu, then Darren, followed by Yoneska, and finally Sia. All right, Trevor, can you stand here next to me, man? I thought, OK, cool, I'm confident, I'm first. You know, it's, it's not such a big deal. But then on the spot there, you start second-guessing yourself, you start, you know, wondering, you know, a million different things. I need you to describe the reasons as to why you're choosing this particular person, after which you'll then walk across and join them. So, why are you choosing this particular person? <sighs> this isn't easy, I must be honest. Yeah, so the reason I'm choosing this person is, from what I've seen, they have a great heart. Yeah, they're just here for, for one thing, and that's to win, and that's what I'm about. So, this having, person is. Having said that, walk on over and pick your teammate, Trevor. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Um, I think I'm with, I'm with my winning horse right here. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. I feel like Nadia's about to break down in I tears know. now. Just, what? A victory dance and it's all. The law of attraction, baby. Oh, it was yes. The law of attraction, she says. Well, Kaldeen? Watching previous seasons of Tropical Island of Treasure, I don't think the choice was ever in the contestants' hands. So we feel so amazing just coming in with the upper hand. But the person I have decided to choose is someone that uh, will really assist me in playing to my strength, balancing the game, and um, you know, this person is focused on the final prize. Right. So we are ready. All right. Oh, well, you, when you're referring to yourselves as we yeah. already, this is a good thing. It's a done deal. All right. Well, you know what to do. All righty. Oh. Do, do the walk. <laughs> oh, so, girl, girl, ain't nobody got time. <laughs> oh, 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 this way. Yeah. Oh, 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 my goodness. That really, really makes me happy to have someone believe in you, and I hope that I won't let her down as my teammate. I hope so too, yeah. I won't, I got you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait, wait. That is the first smile I've seen on Kay all day. <laughs> Just say. Kay, you a happy man right now? I mean, did you see that comeback? I mean, that was... Did you was see that comeback? Extraordinary the resilience stuff. right there, unbroken. Wow, wow. Say <laughs> to Yes, sir. Come on over. All right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah. Let's... 
hear from you as to why you are choosing the particular person that you're going for. So this person that I spoke to on our speed date, I heard this story, they have, they have a lot of heart, a lot of passion, and I feel like they're just very resilient. Yeah. And that's about it, that's all I need. That's all you need. That's all I need. Oh, how about you show us what you need? All right, let me, you know, Ooh, hit him with the moonwalk. Oh, oh, into the that's book. smooth, that's smooth. Oh! A short I little move. Sheesh, 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 sheesh. Team Yellow for the win. I couldn't have asked for a better partner. We are definitely taking this home, and that's that on that. Woo! Dando, talk to me. I'm super excited. Yeah? He was honestly my first preference. Wow, wow. Oh, yeah. so, 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 so he, Darren, come and join me, man. <laughs> All right. All right, talk to me about um, the reasons why you're choosing the person that you are. Yeah, I, I really believe that this person, um, we will work well with each other, yeah. uh, motivate each other, and help and support each other in decision making and, you know, take the cup home. Sounds as good a reason as I've ever heard. Yeah. It's not the world kind. Sure. <laughs> wow, it's a confident, right. quick walk over to yeah. Team Buzzy. All right. I think we have a good run at winning it. Looking 100%. at yeah, looking at the other teams, I think we're a good pair. Um, I don't know. Do you do you think that there's someone that could be a threat? Mm. Is there someone? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzy. Yeah. How you feel, man? Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations, Thank guys. Thank you so much. And Eska, come and join me here. Well done to you as well. Thank you. Fantastic performance throughout the day. So let's talk about the person that you are going to be choosing and tell me why. Why that person? I'm choosing this person because they have perseverance. Yeah, yeah. They have brains. Mm -hmm. They have heart. Mm -hmm. And they probably have better hair than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a, a reason that you could get you a step close oh, to... You've got rand. Maybe a hundred rand, not a million rand for better you hair. But, the okay. challenge is, you never know. You never know. Okay, well, based on those reasons, let's see you take the walk and choose your teammate. Who is this person who has amazing hair? I'm just trying to figure it out. Let me just get my tissue. Oh, there we go. <laughs> For emotional support. We kind of feel like the underdogs, but that's what we want to feel like. Team L. Team, that's a... Not for loser, it is for La Rania. It's going to be a long season. Team La Rania. When I say La, you say... Rania. La. Rania. It's going to be a long one. We're excited. <laughs> But when after after your emotional appeal there at the end, do you feel vindicated? Do you, do you feel your prayers answered? This is what I need right now in my life. Emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited, thank you. That's amazing. Congrats, guys. See ya. Come and join me. Um, well, before you go anywhere, let me ask you this. If you had won and found yourself in Trevor's position, who would you have chosen? Mm, mm. Slender twist. <laughs> Do I really have to? Really? Slender that? twist. You're putting me on the spot. And I am. Honestly, I would have chosen Buzzy. Fair enough. Fair enough. But here you are. But here I am. With a young lady who has passion. Yes, resilience. She's got heart. And I feel like she's going to commit. And she will not back down. Sounds like, like a match made in heaven. And I think since will be great. It's not about the size of the dog. It's about the size of the fight in the dog. So I feel like that we as the underdogs have a whole lot of fight in us and it is unparalleled. We are ready to kick it. Yeah. And we're going to make magic. And I always say underestimate me. That'll be fun. Sure. <laughs> Here we are now. The six teams have been selected and the journey towards that smooth one million rand is officially underway. Get some rest, get to know each other. When I see you again, your very first team challenges will begin. Good luck. Team Yellow!
be well for a win. I got the person that I wanted, so I couldn't be happy. I got my winning horse right here. I'm looking forward to winning this competition. I believe that we are capable of winning this. I've seen mm. amazing duos, but at the end of the day, it boils down to once and more. And watching Keldine today, I mean, couldn't have chosen a better partner. I'm happy with this pick over here, and we're taking it all the way home. We are ready. From afar, people are gonna go, they're not a threat, but we are a threat, because that's literally the hairstylist that we use. His middle name is Threat. All smooth? Tropica, nothing smoother.